Welcome to Grand Tiger Gaming, where I cover Gran Turismo and other driving game topics. First, I just wanted to share this awesome LEGO Toyota Supra that I was gifted for Christmas. It also came from a historic shop in the San Diego area that is very special to me. Plus, I'm always down to build some LEGO sets. If you want to pick one up, I'll leave an Amazon link below. They do run out and they do go up in value, so I recommend you pick one up ASAP. For the final week of GT Sport in 2021, the race B was in Kyoto Driving Park, Yamagawa, and Reverse. Speaking of Supra, the Supra was definitely the meta car for this final week of 2021. I'm playing with plus three on the braking for extra turning. The Supra is great because it's really fast, it has really good downforce, Though it is a bit finicky in the lower gears, so what I try to do is I upshift as soon as I can, and I'm very careful rolling the throttle for as much stability as I can get. And we got this Mazda flashing me for no reason. It's funny because he keeps flashing me for a while and then he ends up losing control and he starts dropping some position. And moving forward, we have the most awkward chicane or one of the most awkward chicanes in the game. And I'm gonna slow it down just to show some of the chaos. But as you can see, we got some Brazilian bumper cars up ahead. Uh, because of the chaos, I go back and forth a bit, but I end up being able to pull away in seventh position and keeping it for quite a while. I want you guys to notice this Supra in the Popeye's livery. He ends up becoming a rival throughout most of this match and just starts driving super aggressive towards me and towards other players as well. Due to this driver's livery, I was actually able to find footage of them in real life. So I want you guys just to pay special attention to this and check out how this driver behaves. All right, guys, so all jokes aside, uh, we end up being able to pull in front of them and hold six for a while. He gets a penalty for just some of the aggressive driving and yeah, just trying my hardest to pull away from the craziness. Yeah, so fast forwarding a bit more, we come back to this other chicane that's not as crazy, but it is kind of hard to navigate through. And as you can see, the guys behind me also start to lose control. And yeah. And so I keep holding down six for a while. But then there's a couple of cars in front of me that start driving really aggressive towards each other. And we'll try to take a closer look, but it seems like what happens is one guy gets clipped and then he gets angry and and then he feels like he gets brake checked maybe and rams him off the road. And yeah, it sucks for them, but at least I'm able to pull ahead and forth. So not complaining on my end. I do end up losing a bit of control here and cut through the grass and I get a half second penalty but I have a lot of space around me, so it doesn't end up affecting me too much for an entire lap. So I'm gonna cut ahead towards the end of the match where crazy Popeye's driver comes back and starts trying to overtake me, but there's no way that he's gonna be overtaking me here. I'm just driving as clean as possible. And yeah, He's uh, flashing me because he loves me that much. And yeah, we end the race here in fourth. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed that quick highlights from the last week of 2021. As you guys know, Gran Turismo 7 is just right around the corner now. I'll be posting a lot of videos on Gran Turismo 7. So if you guys are as excited as I am, I highly recommend to subscribe because I'm gonna have a lot of Gran Turismo 7 content and yeah, really excited. All right, guys, so I hope you had a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. I wish you guys a Happy New Year, and I will talk to you guys later.